we started? hard. I've been trying this mindfulness practice for a while and you know you've really got to put yourself into it you know and I have I have been I'm not very good at it but <laughs> I've actually I've actually just found out about a new form of meditation that leaves the old form of meditation for death. This kind of old school meditation where, I mean, you've got to sit there meditating like this for, it could be weeks. You know, if you've done Vipassana, 10 days of trying to get into the no mind. I mean, that takes, I think, an incredible strong mental constitution to do that. That takes a mind of like, like a trap. It takes strength. But you'll be glad to know there's a new form of meditation where you can achieve all that in 15 minutes. Yes. 15 minutes! <laughs> you know when you think you've heard everything? Like, you know, you think the new age kind of bloody, I don't know, the kind of bamboo pant wearing, vegan, gluten intolerant, hands on healing, spiritually esoteric kind of, oh my God, I'm connected with your light body movement. You think they just can't clearly come up with anything else more, you know, because they're a bit known for a few little wacky things out there. And before you get on your homeopathic high horse, you know, I'm all for, you know, a lot of the kind of less conventional techniques that have some sort of, you know, merit for well-being and health to them. But I do think occasionally something will come left of centre and it's so fucking insane that by nature of being so fucking insane and so off the grid, it kind of feels like it has validity. Now this is this is one of those things. I could have made this up. This is something I could have made up as a joke and you would think, oh man, he's making a joke. It's like that, right? But I wish I had made it up. Someone else did it in America. It would have to be made up in America because they're so fucking stupid over there. They just go for it because they have no sense of satire. Here it is. Now don't, you know why I'm doing this? It's because apparently practitioners, they're gonna come here and run it here. It's gonna start in Byron Bay. And I'm doing this as a warning for all you idiots out there that think this is legitimate. It is some sort of weird scammy yoga called orgasmic meditation. Yes, orgasmic meditation. You achieve this meditative state that you get all the bonus off in 15 minutes. Now, interestingly, orgasmic meditation is only for women. Sorry guys, I know you're getting a little bit excited. Finally, the idea of meditation looked appealing. I gave you a bit of a boner, but no. Orgasmic you know, is actually for women. And the good thing is, you don't have to worry about what you wear. Like, you know, you gotta put your Lorna Jane pants on, it's really expensive. In orgasmic meditation, you don't wear pants. No, you turn up to a class with no pants on, and then a trained practitioner, can be either sex, but it's usually a man, will then stimulate around the clitoris and the clitoris for 15 minutes doing this kind of exchange of feeling. And it's not a bad outcome, it's about the exchange of feeling. He's learned in the certified clitoral stimulation course that I think they run with the fucking package, he's actually divided, it's actually divided into a quadrant where they do stimulation processes. I mean, how do you even know you're with a registered practitioner? You know, do they have a, do you feel like a TAFE certificate, like clit one, clit two, clit three, and clit four? I mean, I didn't know there was quadrants all this time. You know, I didn't realize they'd been meditating and I've been doing it wrong, you know, <laughs> 15 minutes. I just have this thought of, you know, all these people sort of lying around with their pants off at the CWA hall getting, I don't know, their clitoris is stimulated by some disgusting bloke who's done some <laughs> fucking half assed course and feeling enlightened that they've somehow, you can't, you're not. It's not enlightenment. You've just been publicly group hand stimulated on the genitals, publicly masturbated. In, in a community hall. That's what's actually happened at nine o'clock in the morning. Now look, they might be wearing gloves and you might want to dress it up by saying, I had a buzz and I had this amazing well-being feeling. That's an orgasm, you idiot. You know, of course you're gonna have a buzz. It's a good feeling to have a finger on your genitals. Save some money, go carbon neutral, 
do it at home for God's sake. Don't go out and actually engage in this ridiculous process. You know what? You actually think you can fast track meditation by wanking. By wanking. <laughs> this is just imagining. Because when women do it, it feels holy. But imagine if you this, you know, just because you're wanking on a yoga mat doesn't make it fucking spiritual. It just makes it creepy. Just imagine guys doing it right. Like imagine it was the reverse thing. <laughs> spiritual orgasmic meditation for men and they were sitting you know down the road <laughs> in their safe places on their yoga mats with their pants off with their cocks out having their cocks pulled for exactly 15 minutes I think we would find that kind of weird <laughs> I think he'd be going by trained cock pulling practitioners <laughs> I'm like fucking hell it makes that trip to Thailand to Pat Pong Road <laughs> Look like less of a sex tourist and more of a spiritual adventurer. <laughs> Look, I know you'll be thinking, and all anyone there who's really getting excited about suddenly having a legitimacy for being a fucking disgusting, genital prodding, fucking sleaze bag, preying on vulnerable women who <laughs> are so fucked up that they're going to do this thing and sit in a room and be damaged by you touching their clitoris in this group saying, fuck, what's going to happen? Imagine the conversations in town. Oh, you should have seen Janelle this morning. She was going off like a rocker. Oh, I don't know about Crystal. She, she's just a bit frigid. I mean, I don't care, right? If you get into group sex, if this is your thing, right? If you really into, if you really get into getting your genitals touched in public in a group setting at nine o'clock in the morning in a community hall with your pants off, well, good for you. Go for it, go for it, do it. But don't call it meditation. Call it what it is, group masturbation. That's what it is. Now, if you're happy to turn up to that class, quite happy to run with it. It's going back to my serious meditation. If I don't get it, I'll go and masturbate anyway, because then I can actually you know, achieve the no mind state much easier. Oh, I'll have to do it, it's too hard. <coughs> Sorry, you can't watch, it's private. <laughs> 15 minutes. <laughs> I can do it 15 times in 15 minutes. <laughs> Karen, that's true. Are you a bragger?